What's going on YouTube? Jeans here, back again, bringing you guys some more competitive ranked double battles for Pokemon Scarlet and Pokemon Violet. In today's video, we're going to be showcasing a Prankster LMI's team on the Regulation E ladder. You guys already know the deal. If you do enjoy the content anytime, make sure you support me as a content creator by leaving a like on today's video. And if you're not subscribed to the channel, seriously, what are you doing? Take two seconds out of your day, scroll down a little bit, click that subscribe button, and support your boy. It really does go a long way. Thank you guys so much for all the subscribers to this channel. But Illumise is going to be here, and that's going to be our first Pokemon that we talk about. Illumise got Prankster with the Mental Herb as its item, and then it's Rock and Tailwind, Fake Tears, Encore, and Infestation for a little bit of damage on its side. We got Landers in our second slot with Intimidate and the Clear Amulet as item. It's got Stomp and Tantrum, Terror Blast, U-Turn, and Protect. And I just love Landers, especially on the rank ladder as of recently. It's just so good, has a bunch of good moves, and especially with its ability to intimidate, it's just good in so many different situations. Chiyu is going to be our third Pokemon, a great Pokemon, especially paired up with Fluttermane, who is also on this team. Chiyu's got the Beads of Ruin with the Folk Sash as its item, then Snarl, Heat Wave, Protect, and Dark Pulse. Wellspring Ogre Pond is our fourth guy with Water Absorb as its ability, and then Ivy Cudgel, Horn Leech for Stab and HP Recovery, Follow Me, and Spiky Chiyu. Best slot is that Fluttermane that we mentioned with Protosynthesis and the Choice Specs as its item. We got Shadow Ball, Moonblast, Dazzling Gleam, and Power Gem for a nice little coverage move on this Fluttermane. Final Pokemon is going to be Iron Hands. Cork Drive, Assault Vest, Fake Out, Wild Charge, Drain Punch, Heavy Slam. You guys seen that plenty of times before. Guys, you want to run the scene for yourself? Run the code is at the top right hand corner, but let's get after it. Let's hop on to that rank ladder. Let's grab some wins with this Prankster of the Mize team. First match is on its way, and we're actually going up against a really cool team. They got Zoroke, Rylou, who is probably Evo Light, and then its older brother or next evolution, Lucario, Urshifu, Fluttermane, and Cornerstone Ogre Pond. So, really cool team. How should I get after this? Olamize is not bad here. It's got the fake tears. It can help Chi Yu and all those Pokemon do an insane amount of damage. So, I might just go Fluttermane alongside with Olamize. I can set up a Tailwind. If I am slower than Pokemon, or I can just get ripping from there. And what terror type do you have, Fluttermane? Probably Fairy. Yeah, you got Fairy. You do have the Fairy type. But you know what? I might say screw it. I might say screw it and just get after it with you. I mean, I could go Chiyu instead, which wouldn't be bad. Heat Wave, Fake Tears. Could be really good. Could be really powerful for us. So, you know, I'm going to go Chiyu. I'm going to go Olamize here. Bring Fluttermane in the back end. And then last but not least, we are going to be rocking out with Wellspring. Perfect. Loving that squad. But something I forgot to mention during the team preview is a huge shout out to the team creator, Pokey Sports, and their uh, Discord community. Huge shout out for making this team and making it a rank to code. Yes, with the Pokey pace to this team. Head over to Pokey Sports' channel. Link is down in the description below. But I wanted to use Lucario for so long now, so I haven't seen it on the rank ladder in a good bit. So it's pretty cool that we're actually going up against it in match number one. So hopefully we get the rock out with Elamize, set up some tailwinds, do a little bit of prankster stuff, and kind of get after it that way. Because Elamize is actually really good. It's actually really powerful on the rank ladder. Infestation, Fake Tears with Special Attackers works really, really well. Just getting that Speed Control with Tailwind works wonders. But they end up going these two right here. And good thing I went with the Chiyu. I like the Chiyu here. And I think I'm just going to Tailwind. And I might Terra. I might Terra here in the Straight Ghost. Do I Terra in the Straight Ghost? Eh. I mean, I got Focus Ash. I think I should be fine. I could go in with a Snarl. But I'm thinking just dropping a Heat Wave. Going Heat Wave, popping a Tailwind, taking some nice, lovely Speed Control. Then I can always Fake to your next turn. But Raidulu is out here, and I think that Pokemon learns Fake Out. I kind of forgot what it does. I know it has Coaching, but that's more of a physical attacker that it pairs up with. But I, actually, I think it does have Fake Out, so this could be a bad turn for us. It could be a rough turn. A Ground Terror type comes out here from Fluttermane, and no Fake Out comes out here from Rylou, which we love. So what are you doing, Rylou? What are you doing out here? It's gonna copycat here. You gonna copycat my Tailwind? Oh, that was sick. I like that. I like that play. I like that play a lot. So we copycat's Tailwind. He's gonna go for a Terror Blast. I'm gonna focus Ash up, which is wonderful. And we'll go from there. So good thing I had the Focus Ash. The Ground Terror from Fluttermane. You don't see that too often. You do not see that too often. So the Fluttermane shows it was Life Orb. Heat Wave's gonna come out here, and who's dodging it? Fluttermane dodged it, really? The Pokemon that I want to hit most. Rylou goes out there, but Rylou actually did a lot of work. Copycat was massive. That was such a good play. That was such a good play. But yo, that's so annoying. That's so annoying that we missed the Heat Wave on the, uh, on the what's called. On the Fluttermane. 
But from here, I'm just gonna go for... I'm thinking just protecting at this point. And maybe just... Ba -ba 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 -bum. Infestation, maybe just throw it onto Lucario. Or chunk up damage, or even onto the Fluttermane would be a bit better. Yeah, I'm cool with that. I'm cool with that. So I'm gonna protect the Chiyu. I'm gonna try to set up some infestation, start chipping up some damage with the bugs and the bees. And Bullet Punch is gonna fly into Olamaz. You know, Bullet Punch and Dazzle Gleam. Yeah, smart cookie play there. Real smart cookie play. The Olamaz is soaking pretty well here. It's doing nice. And I guess we'll just go from there. I think we'll let both these Pokemon die out here and just, uh, start chunking up damage. So we get Infestation on Fluttermane. That noise annoys me. But it's good that it's on the opposing side. Got the bugs and the bees getting after it. Uh, from here, I guess we'll try to land a heat wave, and um, I guess we'll try to go for an infestation into Lucario slot. I think that's the, just the best two things we can do. But that's gleam's gonna fire. Easy double KO. Infestation's still gonna chip up, and we're tailwind for tailwind right now. Their flutter main was not uh, boost energy, so I think our flutter main has a chance to just straight up outspeed, which would be massive. A bullet punch is terrifying. Bullet punch is scaring me, right? From Lucario. Could go for a follow me. That might be my best bet. Choice in a shadow ball. Maybe just go for a follow me. That could be best bet. That could be my best bet. Hmm. This bullet punch is just... Uh, bullet punch be doing me dirty. Let me see your speed real quick, Flutter Man. Are you fully boosting speed? You are. I know you're not. So this Fluttermane could actually outspeed us. We got Low Spring Overpart here. I could go for the Follow Me, and I could go into the Moon Blast into that thing. And actually, Terrasilize to get off as much damage as I can. And actually, I'm just going to Terrasilize, and I'm going to Gleam. I'm going to Gleam, and I'm just going to Follow Me the shots. Well, Spring Ogre Pond, looking to get after it. We'll go for the Follow Me here. I could have actually put the Mask on my, my Ogre Pond, but... But I'd rather have the Flutter main damage, especially because I'm going for Follow Me this turn. But it's so upsetting. Their Flutter main should be dead. Like, we, we should have hit it with a Heat Wave already. Kind of annoying that, that we missed that one. But I'm looking to make this comeback. We get the Follow Me cooking here. E Speed coming out. Smart play for him to go for E Speed instead of Bullet Punch. That is Lingleam is going to get cooking. But that's when comes out here. Can this KO the Flutter main? It does indeed. It does some big time damage to Lucario. Okay, so I love it. I love it. We're hitting hard. We got rid of the Flutter main. It was good that we outsped that thing, and I could potentially just go for... I could go for another Follow Me, or I can go for a Spiky Shield. And I'm leaning towards Follow Me, right? Because Dazzle Gleam can finish off Lucario. And who's your final put? Maybe Water Earth. And yeah, I'm just going to Follow Me the shots. I mean, I have Water Absorb. That's going to be great. So yeah, this is an easy Follow Me play. You could go into a close combat here, but Fluttermane should be fast on the field, besides Lucario going for E-Speed or Bullet Punch. So Wellspring Ogre Pond, follow me, always comes up clutch, especially with the usage of Water Urshifu. It's just big time. So he ends up detecting. I'm cool with that. And a follow me is going to fly out here. If they don't have Terra, Bullet Punch is going to come across here. Good thing they did use to follow me. And that should pretty much wrap up this match, right? So I'm gonna be choice into. I'm gonna be choice into what's it called? Dazzling Gleam. So I'm gonna send it his way. And instead of going for a follow me, we're gonna send a Horn Leech into the Urshfu. Who can't harass last. So we got two super effective moves coming after him. He has no double hitting moves, which is great on our end. But we'll go Gleam, we'll go Horn Leech, and we'll go from there. Just in case. I mean, I think we're fine here. Yeah, I think we're chilling here. So Dazzling Gleam's gonna come out here. Well, bam, we outspeed. And that's just KOs. No focus, Ash. GG's. Good game, no problem. 1-0 to get things started. Let's go hop into our second. Let's go back to back. Second match coming at you guys, and I would love to go back to back using Elamize. Elamize got the tailwind set up turn one, but our opponent actually countered it pretty well. Rocking out with Copycat Riley worked out perfectly for them, but my back end was just too powerful with Ogre Pond and Fluttermane. And we pick up the win. But we're going up against a Pheasantipity team with Sableye. Sableye is rather annoying. I'm not going to sit here and lie. That Pokemon is really annoying with Encores and like Disables and all that. I just don't like really dealing with that. They also have Intimidate with the Landers. And then, uh, what is that? Annihilate over here. 
Bowser Dippity could be annoying, but who should we lead here? Do we just go maybe like Chiyu Fluttermane? I think Chiyu Fluttermane works out really well up against a lot of these guys. So Chiyu Fluttermane gonna come in here for a lead in the back end. We might not bring Illumise. I think we just go Ogre Pond and potentially Lando. I like Lando up against like uh, Pokemon like Festidipity because Festidipity actually isn't a flying type. It's poison and fairy, which is weird. Like it's a bird, it's flying in the air, and it's not a flying type. Like get on that. That's just crazy. That's just crazy. And it dies to ground moves. It's just, it's just odd, but hey, I don't make the rules. I just play the game. I just play the game, but not going to use Elamize here in match number two. It just seems like we're better off just going in with our Pokemon and just going with like more of a hyper offensive play. And Sableye's going to come out here, which I really do not mind. I don't mind whatsoever because Sableye can't fake me out. I mean, you have Encore and all that stuff. So I'm just going to go for the heavy attacks and Terrasalize my Chiyu into a dark type. Or not dark type into a ghost type so we'll do that and i will also do I just rip a power gem i think maybe terrestrializing into gleam is gonna be my play i think gleam and dark pulse can potentially just KO the Volcarona. and we could really go from there and then plus gleam can do some big time damage on the sableye i like it a lot so we're gonna terrestrialize to you just in case the fake out ones come out here i'm just not trying to lose a turn here and deal with the flinches from sableye and yeah sableye is annoying if you can't counter but our lead's actually pretty good here for it so we go in with the lovely ghost type. Hopefully he's going for the fake out. And now he just sets up a light screen. He's ah, dude, I hate this Pokemon. <laughs> now he's setting up screens. He just do so much. Dazzling comes out of here. Almost KO in the Sableye. Was that a crit? Or are you just that weak? No. That wasn't even like no sash either. That's weird. That's weird. Volcarona is going to soak up. It's going to eat a nice lovely berry. And I'm curious to see what he's going to do from here. This little quiver dance. Oh, not the quibs. Not the quivs. So from this turn, we're just going to keep doing what we're doing. We're just going to go for another Dark Pulse here. Actually, I could Snarl. Which I think is going to be a bit better here because we're not going to KO. kind of wish I choice into Power Gem at this point. Kind of wish I did. But I wasn't expecting the screens. Protect comes out here. We're going to take out the Sableye. And he gets off his Light Screen to Reflect. So that's mid. Hate going up against screens. I know you guys feel the same way. Screens are just so good. When if you don't have screens and the opponent has screens, it's just so good. I feel like more more Pokemon should be rocking moves that take out screens, right? It's just so good. It comes in clutch, especially when you're going against teams like that. But I mean, you have Urshifu now, who's kind of like he hits through screens with his critical hits. So what are you gonna do? The Volcarona sitting here boosts it. Pretty well here. Special attack, special defense, and speed. And now Annihilate is going to come out here behind screens, which is kind of rough. I'm going to sit here. I'm going to rip a Dark Pulse. And I'm stuck into this Dazzling Gleam. And I might swap out Fluttermane at this point. Maybe go on the Wellspring Ogre Pond. That wouldn't be bad. And the reason I want to do that is because I believe there is a slight chance that Annihilate is going to Thrasilize. And if Annihilate does Thrasilize, it's probably going to be fire, right? Plus, I can reset my choice specs and save this Pokemon for later. If it is fire, we can we can uh, replace our choice specs move with Power Gem. And then we have all these water moves ready to go. So, he's going to come out here and there's the fire terror type. Good read from us, but still a chance that we can die out here. I'm terrified of this, uh, of this Volcarona, who's Quiver Dance plus two now. Oh my lord. Chill on me, man. You gotta chill. You gotta stop the nonsense. Dark Pulse gonna be cooking here. Do a little bit of damage. And he's gonna go for Rage Fist. And that's gonna bring me to Sash. I'm gonna focus Sash up here. Good thing I have that. And who do I go after? I think I go after Annihilate here with Ivy Cudgel. Right? I could go after Volcarona. That could be nice. That could be sweet. But I think I'm just gonna Dark Pulse into you. I should went double down to, to Annihilate because I don't think Annihilate protects here. I think what's it called? Volcarona is more of a more of the Pokemon that's gonna protect. So I'm just gonna Ivy Cudgel into Annihilate and then double down into it. There's Quiver Dance plus two. Our opponent probably thinks, hey, my Pokemon's boosted like crazy. They probably want to attack me. And he ends up just withdrawing that. Oh, dude, our opponent's playing so good right now. Pheasant Dippity. How dare you do that? Dips come out of here. And he goes for a straight heat wave. That hurts soul. Chiyu dodges attack and of course Ogre Pond. Ah! Takes a ton of damage. 
Dark Pulse is going to fly, do about 5 damage. And Ivy Codger coming out here, going to do about 9 damage. So tough, dude. Behind screens, we're just getting smacked up. Behind these screens, it's so tough. And yeah, that's pretty much game. I mean, Heat Wave comes out here. We kind of got to hope for a dodge and then just double down into the corner. Right? We got to hope for a dodge here. Pretty much how this game's going. I mean, we do have... I mean, their screens are just doing us so bad. They really are. Heat Wave's going to come out here. And there's a double landing. Yeah, it's, it's tough out here. It's brutal. So I still have... Intimidate. I mean... Oxide's not bad. But Festivity sets up a tail. They're just killing this game. Big time Volker Runner plays. Volker Runner is so good, especially once it sets up Quiver Dance. And I mean, put it behind screens, it's just even better. Any Pokemon's better behind screens. So now I'm gonna go into Fluttermane. They have Tailwind set up so perfectly. And what's the play from here? Rock Slide? Choice into a Power Gem? Probably. Probably Choice into Power Gem is the best bet. Timonate's gonna do nothing. We're going up against two special attackers. And everything's just going wrong here. I'm gonna Choice into Power Gem. I'm gonna double down to Volker Runner. Actually, I don't have Rock Slide. Huh? I'm not going to double down the Volker. I'm going to go after Festivity with this. They have Tailwind, but I, th I honestly, I think they just Heat Wave and KO me both. Like, Heat Wave with Quiver Dance plus two? Oh, ugly. It's real ugly. There's the Heat Wave. Anybody soaking? We both soak. And Icy Wind's going to gonna fin it, wrap things up here. Pretty much, right? Icy Wind's going to wrap things up. I get the Speed Drop. Lander's going to die out here. And of course, you get the, the Toxic Change, too. Unbelievable. Unbelievable, but great place from our opponents. They definitely deserve this victory. Maybe we could just KO the Volker Runner. Just for giggles. <laughs> and go from there. And no, this thing's so bulky. Plus two on special defense behind a light screen. We're not KOing these things. Great team, though. I actually really like it. You set up the screens, you get the Dippy, the Toxic Chain, you get the Quiver Dance setups. But when you're going up against special attackers, it's just big time. Now let's go run this one. We are 1-1. One one. Let's go hop through a third and final. Look for that 2-1 winning record. Final match on its way. Let's get a Lamaze rocking out here in match number three. We're going to lead it here. They have Cresselia. They could pop Trick Room, but in that case, I might just start throwing Infestations up or maybe even Fake Tears. So I'm going to go Olamize here. I'm going to also go in with hmm, Chiyu. Yeah, Chiyu's not bad. I think Olamize Chiyu is a great lead. We'll bring Fluttermane and we'll bring Iron Hands in the back end just in case they want to choose to actually go into uh, Trick Room, which is highly likely. Like, look at this team. Trick Room, it just screams Trick Room. It just screams tripping. But if they don't go into Furgraph turn one, I would love to just fake tears to get rocking with Chiyu, right? We can do some big time damage to start ripping. Minus two on the uh, special defense board. But chances are, I can, uh, could I see them lead Furgraph? Furgraph? Maybe. It's definitely a possibility. But Cresselia, I would feel like would be better. So I'm really hoping they lead Cress. I could just, you know, give it the yield fake tears, slap it up with a nice little Dark Pulse, and just get cooked from there. But look at the trainer card, just a big time Snorlax. <laughs> it's just right in the mid. Love Snorlax. And I actually just remembered I didn't move my face cam, so it's blocking the moves. It's my bad. I apologize. I have it set to where I like it on uh, Super Mario Wonder. So hopefully you guys are enjoying that playthrough though. But we're still here, rocking out here. We're just covering up the moves. You guys can see them pretty well. And who'd they go? They went for a graph. So, I mean, Infestation, probably gonna be your play. I'm gonna set it up onto Okie Dogie here. And do I Terrasalize? Yeah, I'm gonna Terrasalize, just in case the Drain Punch wants to come out here. And I'm gonna try to throw the Dark Pulse into the free graph slot. So we could be going for a bulk up, that is an option. Illumise really gets kind of torn up here by this Ferrigi, because I can't use my Prankster first in priority moves, because Armor Tail's the thing. And we'll go from there. So they end up Terrasalizing as well. Smart little tower, they're gonna probably gonna go Fairy here. And I maybe should just rip into the Dark Pulse ain't doing too much of it. Yep, there's the fairy type. There is the lovely fairy type. So maybe, just maybe we can get a flinch. That'd be cool. The Dark Pulse is going to fly here. How much damage are we doing? Show me Drain Punch coming in here. Infestation's going to fly. Doing one damage. But on top of that, we get the Infestation on. Gunk Shot coming out here. Why you got Gunk Shot? Stop. Why? Stop. Gotta be poison at all times. Trick Room comes out here. Um, infestation can start chipping up. I'm hoping I can get one on Furgraph. 
That'd be lovely. Man, that hurts the soul. Infestation. The bees are here. The bees are buzzing. We got some nice infestation damage. I would love to go for it onto for grab. And probably just rip a heat wave now. I should have read that and just went into a heat wave regardless. Doing as much damage as I can. But Frigraph's out here. You can't use Hyper Voice on me, which we love. So it's probably going to go for maybe like a Psy Shock or even a Nasty Plot this turn would be pretty solid. But I do have Iron Hands in the back end, which I really like, especially up against Trick Room. And I can save my Flutter Mean for late game. Definitely save my Flutter Mean for late game. So we'll see what our opponent wants to do here. Okie Dogie took and takes some damage with Infestation. Did they get off the Trick Room? And this thing is going to Nasty Plot boost. So the Nasty Plot boost comes out here. Ice Punch is going to fly here, and Elamize is eaten. We love that. We love that. Infestation now comes out here, and we set it up on Free Grab, which is awesome. Nice little damage after his turns. Awesome. Heat Wave's going to land. Double down. Big time damage. Cool. Any burns? No. Of course we don't get burns. Of course we don't get burns. So the bees are buzzing. Another Infestation will KO the Free Grab, so it's just going to be a simple protect for me. The bees are buzzing, yo. I, I love this move. <laughs> I love it so much. Um, huh. Did I set up a Talon for a squad? Nah, there's, there's no We're gonna let LMI style here. I'll go for an Infestation into Okie Dogi just to. Actually, we'll do it in the Frigograph. But I think Frigograph's gonna die out regardless. So I'm just gonna protect my Chi Yu, save my Focus Ash for next turn, and just go for it. So we'll waste out these Tricking turns. We'll bring out Iron Hands next, and we'll get cooking from there. So Frigi goes for Daz and Gleam, Chi is gonna survive, but again, the bees! The bees, baby! The swarm of bugs! Gonna get rid of this giraffe, who's plus two on special attack. A plus two Frigi. Ice Punch gonna fly, we blocking it. Can't hit me with Drain Punch, I simply won't allow it. So from here, we bring out the Iron Hands, we will save our Choice Specs for Main. and where's the bees at? Hold up, where's the bees? Where'd the bees go? Is it cause Olamai's died? Don't tell me that. Did they go away cause of that? Nah, 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 nah. That's absurd. That's absurd. I don't want to take recoil damage, so I'm just gonna go into heavy slam in that slot. I'm gonna... Actually, we'll double down and... She um, might be slower than Frigraph. We're gonna heavy slam into Frigraph. And we'll go for Heat Wave. That's, yo, the bugs in, in a KO? Not the bugs, man. Not the bugs. He ends up going to Iron Hands himself. The bugs really didn't KO. That's that's very upsetting. That the bugs that the bugs went KO. Very, very upsetting that the bugs went KO. Heavy slam gonna do about five damage here. Ice Punch gonna come across. The bugs went away? And oh, Toxic Change is doing me so bad. It's just doing me so bad. Heat Wave's gonna fly here. If we don't get rid of Oki, do we? Oh, that kinda hurts. So we could fake me out here. He definitely could. It's definitely an option. And mm, I'm just gonna go for a Drain Punch. Drain Punch will finish off Oki Dogi. How many turns are left in Trick Room? One. So you know what? I'm just gonna go for a Drain Punch. And I'm just going to protect my Chiyu. That is so absurd that the bugs went away. I guess they go away when Illumis dies. There's a fake out. We're hoping he's just going after Chiyu here. And you are. Cool. So we protect. We waste out the last turn of Trick Room. We're going to launch another Heat Wave. And I think we just, you know, Drain Punch into the Iron Hands. They don't have any first turn priority, so we, we waste out the trick and turn, which is pretty massive. We'll go for a drain punch here, and we'll heat wave across the board. Hopefully it lands, hopefully we get the, the KO on the Oki Dogi damage onto the Iron Hands. And he's gonna end up attacking. That, that's cool, man. I don't mind that. I do not mind that, as long as his heat wave hits the dog. And we hit the dog? That a, that a goldfish. That a goldfish. That a boy goldfish. Big time heat wave land. Heat wave's gonna land there. We're gonna take a little bit more poison damage, and I'm not worried about Frigograph. I'm wondering who your, your final point is. So that's your question. They don't have Terra either. We don't have Terra, but we're taking some damage. We're taking some damage. So let's see who their final point is, and it's going to be 
the boy here, who's probably protecting, right? Chances are he is protecting. So I'm just gonna drain punch and I'm gonna go for the heat wave. I'll double down to Iron Hands yet again. He's gonna go for oh you got sucker punch. That ain't right. That ain't cool. I should drain punch into into him. But this actually works out fine. Because I get to bring out Flutter Main. I can hit hard with Dazzle Gleam. And you can't change type. So drain punch. Gonna bring this thing low enough for me to KO. And then I'll just drain punch into the uh I'll drain punch into the what is that thing called? The group bonnet. Oh, you actually did a lot more damage than me. I don't like that one bit. So Dazzle Gleam should be booking now. Then I get out the Flutter Main. I got the Choice Specs. It could be Vested, but still, Choice Spec Flutter Main should be able to rip up. And it's a perfect Pokemon at the perfect time here. So they can't Terrasalize. I'm going to go Drain Punch into Brute Bonnet. And I'm just going to Dazzle Gleam across the board. Should KO with Iron Hands, right? Should KO with Iron Hands. Should do some big time damage onto the uh, Brute Bonnet. And we should get going from there, right? Burgraph's on 1 HP. I can outspeed, and this thing's just gonna detect turn one. So I guess he's looking to try to pull off a spore, but it's not happening. Sucker Punch actually doing a lot. A bit too much. A bit too much for me. A bit too much. But good thing we double down into that slot there. We're gonna do some big time damage. Drain Punch is going to finish you off. And then Fergraph's gonna come out here. And it's game. It's game set match when Daz and Gleam again. Unless the only way he wins this one is if he lands a double attack. Right? Only way he wins this one. I swear, I swear on everything. <laughs> I swear this YouTube channel will be shut down this instant if this dude lands double with Detect and uh, wins this match. I'd be so upset. Farigi comes back out here, one HP pretty much, about six actually. And from here, we are just going to double down into Iron Hands and Dazzle Gleam across the board. Game set match, looking real well for us. There it is, Dazzle Gleam. Bang, bang, bang. Let's go. Two and one for today's video. Olamize was absolutely awesome. Love this Pokemon so much. There you go, ladies and gentlemen. Prankster Illumize on the Regulation E ladder. Loved it so much. We got the Tailwind going. We didn't really get to use Fake Tears or Encore, but Infestation was awesome. Getting the bees, getting the bugs out there, doing damage after turns. So solid. Really, really solid move. Loved it all around. But guys, that is going to be it for today's video. If you did enjoy the content, don't forget to smash that like button for me. And if you're new here, click that big red subscribe button so you know when all of my videos go live. Seriously, you guys rock out. Make sure you spread some positive day, and I'll catch you on the next one. Peace out, everybody.